Hey guys, it's Cole here. Welcome back and welcome to another update video where I spoil all, a whole bunch of surprises. In today's video, we're going to talk about the new mocks, the new mocks that are in the works, and um, some new sets on there. And we're going to talk about some uh, rumors for the 2021 Speed Champion sets. So first, first we'll start, start off with the um, new, uh, this rumor that I've heard for the, or what, about the 2021 Speed Champion sets are going to be. Obviously, they haven't come out early, like in this first wave of LEGO sets, and a bunch of these new sets that I have here. Apparently, they're going to come in the next wave, which is going to be during the summer of 2021. So I've heard this rumor, that this might not be true, obviously. It might be false, might be true, who knows. Um, but it sounds like it would be true, judging by what the um, models in this list. We have the, the list, if I remember correctly. There's a Koenigsegg set, $20, a Toyota set, $20, a McLaren set, $20, a Chevrolet set, $30, and a Dodge set for $50, which means that Lego is sticking with the $30 two-car set and a $50 two-car set that they did with the other sets, for example, with previously you had the Jaguar set with the um, two cars for 30, and you had the Lamborghinis with two cars for 50. So this most likely means that the Lamborghini set was not overpriced because of the Lamborghini name or the lime green Urus. It was just over, or it just was. I don't know, it wasn't a great deal more parts. I don't know why they're doing this thing with a 20, a two cars for $20 more, not that many parts more. It's kind of weird. Um, and the Do I can't imagine that the Dodge name is that much more expensive to use than the Chevrolet name, which, yeah, anyway. So I think the Koenigsegg set probably going to be a Yesco. Toyota is going to be uh, GR Yaris, GR Supra, GR Super Sport. And the um, McLaren, probably Sabre, Speedtail, Elva. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's three, not four. Um, and the Chevrolet is probably Corvette C8 and then old like Corvette C1, something like that. Or maybe like a C8R and a C1, something like that. And the um, Dodge, probably be Ram TRX. Uh, Durango Hillcat, maybe even a 8 step wide Charger or Challenger. If it's a Challenger, it's going to be interesting compared to uh, my version of the uh, 8 step wide Speed Champions Challenger. But, um, or my version of 6 step wide, wide version anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for the rumor. Obviously, it'll be interesting if it's true. If it is true, that'll be really cool that Lego has the Koenigsegg license because then you can do some really cool Technic sets with that name. Alright, next we will get to the new sets. So, um, here we are in the garage. Oh, we have a few minor, very minor updates to the garage. First of all, we have the race buggy transporter. Well, this set was kind of just bought really so we could get that set with the gift we purchased. We should spend some, you know, get the, whatever, hit the amount of money you have to spend to get that thing. Because I really wanted the uh, this color of purse. Because this is not a common color, dark turquoise on the vintage car. And I'm going to do like a full video telling you guys what I think of this. Because it would be too long to go in one video or in this video. So, um, yeah, we'll do a full video on it later, but the color, we'll say for now, is very awesome. And these fenders are really cool. Well, not really cool, but they are very nice to get fenders in this color because that means in the future we might be able to do a, um, whoops, okay, these surfboards of the cider. Not secured very well. Also, they're in the wrong place compared to the original design, but um, we'll talk about that in the review video. But the, um, if we can use those fenders, we get a couple more parts in dark turquoise. For example, in the new 2021 Ninjago sets that have been revealed, there's a dragon with quite a few dark turquoise pieces, so maybe we'll get that too. And then we can build a, a, a bigger 8 step wide car. For example, I'd love to use a Dodge Demon in, in um, dark turquoise, or even the Lamborghini Murciago, uh, any one of these, one, two, or three in dark turquoise. I think it would look really good. Um, as for the uh, rest, oh, we have two sports cars. Dark Azure, another really cool color that I haven't really seen a lot. Obviously, it's on this thing because it was in the hidden side bus set, and this was kind of came from that set. But um, yeah, so we have a little bit here, but uh, it's very nice to get a car all in that color. It looks very nice, as you can see here. We have two of them for parts, so maybe we can try to build a full size 8 stud wide car in that color sometime. Obviously, there's no Speed Champion Spenders at the moment um, with the uh, or in Dark Azure, Dark Azure, but hopefully, in those new sets that that if there's new sets that I do, that I just mentioned, do come out, or whatever new sets come out, hopefully they have dark azure fenders, or even just a cool color fender, like medium azure, that was a very cool color, um, or that is a very cool color. Otherwise, nothing really uh, new uh, or else with the new sets. Actually, there's one more I'm going to show you guys after. Uh, we have this little mini interpretation of the big shelf. We got the Saturn V up on top, just like the big one. And we also have some barbecues because um, something different for some furniture, because this garage obviously needs a lot more furniture. It's quite empty except for the cars so um yeah first set in a lot of or first par parts of furniture and a big amount of furniture that's gonna be coming to this garage slowly here we have the boxes for the new sets um yeah nothing too much to talk about there's the other one that we're gonna show you in a second uh, i've still the december calendar up with the change scenario because it's so nice but uh yeah we're gonna take that down soon well really soon um there's some batteries 
camera batteries. Uh, okay, up here, here we have some new mocks. We have the Gallardo Super Trofeo. Now this is um, obviously kind of, uh, well, it's not finished. And if you go over here, I get better lighting. There we go. So you guys can see here on the back, it's not finished yet. There's some parts that I still need to order in to uh, finish it, but for now it looks pretty good. We have the Lamborghini Murciago Liberty Walk. I know I've been making a bunch of, actually not a bunch, I've made two Murciago videos. In the past, we've got the uh, lime green, looks really awesome. We've got the uh, rear end, it's different. We've got the big wing and some black accents around it. Looks very nice. Uh, obviously we have the standard Murciago, the old version. We have the Murciago SV sitting there on the desk. And um, this is, once we've finished the off-road Urus, which we did in the last video, I think this will look, look really good alongside it. Uh, also, we have the gray Raptor I built, which uh, doesn't look bad, but like I said, I want to do a full renovation on all these Raptors to um, get them to look, well, right, because they don't, they're don't they very flat in the front. They're all around here. Very flat in the front, they don't look that realistic, so uh, we're going to work on that in a future video. The um, Everything else here is not new. Oh, wait, hold on. This Hot Wheels truck. It's a Hot Wheels truck with a RWB wide-body 911 Porsche 911. I was thinking a matching truck and car. I think we should try it as one of these cars. I think how the Mercy Lago SV, it's a nice tuner car to um, build a truck to go with. So what if we build a transport truck, maybe about a 11 stud wide um, bed and a nine stud wide, eight stud wide cabin and um, build it in like black black cabin with lime green stripes and lime green accents around it. I think it look really good to haul that Mercy Lago around. Um, also, we have the, I think we told you guys about this in the previous video, that the combat transport truck which has been sitting here for a very long time. Nothing has happened much to it. Um, but I do want to get a or build or customize or whatever. So the side swing open. Right now all these back end flips up. I think we'll make the side swing open. We might want to make a cover obviously because there's no point having the sides armored and running on top. So we want to make a top thing that swings up and down to a dump like a dump truck. Maybe well, not like a dump truck but just something that uh, sits swings upward and then the sides will swing out and that way you can access the cargo very easily that is inside the uh, cargo bed. So yeah, work on that in a future video. Um, keep moving, nothing new here. Uh, here's something new. McLaren Senna GTR, looks very nice. Uh, like I said, I'll have a full review coming out in the next couple days. In fact, right after this video is posted, I mean the day after this video is posted, we'll have a McLaren Senna GTR review and the other reviews like I um, mentioned earlier. Over here with the Lego shelf, or Lego parts shelf I suppose. Oh, we have the Camaro concept prototype, whatever you like to call it, still sitting here. Uh, once we get the next model done, that's gonna, we're gonna work on the Camaro. The um, Charles Dickens Christmas Carol set, which is a gift with purchase. Looks very nice. It's a very solid set for a gift with purchase. It's pretty heavy. It's like 300 something pieces, which is very good. Um, yeah, that's that guy right there. So the next, the, uh, next thing to talk about would be the um, next sets I'm going to work on, or next mocks I'm going to work on. So the first one that's kind of in the works, it has, well, because recently we've been working on a lot of Lamborghinis. You have the Gallardo, obviously. We have a bunch of different versions of the Gallardo. Well, there's a bunch that I have designed that instructions are going to come out for in the future. For now, we just have the Super Trofeo and the standard one right over there. Um, the Murciago, obviously, we have the Liberty Walk, the standard one, and the SV down there. So we're doing a lot of Lamborghini stuff lately. So we're going to do something different. It's still going to be Volkswagen Group, and it's going to have four turbos. And it's going to be from about, uh, how many years ago? 50, 16 years ago. So um, you guys should be able to figure out what that means. Second mock, so that's the first, like, or not the second, that's the second mock that's kind of in the works right now. The, um, we have one that is uh, already done, that's going to be coming soon. And that one, I'm not going to give you guys any hints because it'll be well, pretty funny and pretty different. It's going to be a car. It's, or it's not going to be a car. Well, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. You guys will see what it is. And I suppose that it, that's it for today's video. Let's go over here, make sure there's nothing we missed, nothing we left out of today's video. Yep, that's it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's it for today's video. Like I said, we're going to be having a bunch of new stuff coming real soon, so, um, just making sure everything's okay with my camera. Um, like I said, we're going to have some new mocks here soon. Uh, if you want to get instructions from these mocks, including the Liberty Rock, Murciago, Murciago SV, um, yeah, the Gallardos, the, not the Super Trofeo. Super Trofeo still has to have instructions made for it, but they will be coming out soon. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to go get them. Uh, also, there's a link to, below to my Instagram if you'd like to go check it out for some updates. On these models. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.